The sun's not up yet, and you can see the land out there. Everything's kind of still asleep. The sun comes up over the clouds, and the desert down here wakes up, and everything starts chirping and talking, and you can just hear cattle bawling. That's my favorite thing. The Thorn Ranch entails about 44,000 acres. I've been working on the Thorn with my dad ever since I first got married. And we manage that ranch along with several other ranches in Mexico, old Mexico. I work for a cattle ranch. I'm a, I'm a cattle hand. I'm a sixth generation cattle rancher. My family came to Grant County in, 18, in the 1880s. It's a good lifestyle. It teaches you how to work hard and good things will come for you. I like being a cattle rancher because you're out in the wide open space. You don't have a boss to breathing down your neck. Sometimes my kids think that I love the ranch more than them, but it's not true. It doesn't rain very much. Our annual rainfall on an average, I think, is about nine to maybe 12 inches. We've had some droughts off and on, and they uh, made us cut back our herd because there's just literally not enough grass to go around. This year, I don't know what it is about this year, but it seemed like there's just been a plague of rabbits. The problem with jackrabbits is they don't just eat the grass off the top of the head of the grass. They nibble on the bottom down by the roots and most of the grass just falls over and dries up and blows away in the wind. It's been actually a little bit drier nowadays than it was like back when my dad was around when we had a lot better luck with rain. We actually had more cows on the ranch. run about two to three hundred head of calves and about 500 mother cows, about 35 bulls. In a roundup, you basically go out and gather the cattle. We usually do three different roundups in the summertime. At the beginning of the summertime is when we do our biggest roundup. It's hot, but that's the reason we start so early in the morning so we can take advantage of the cool weather. It takes a lot of manpower. Usually if you have a 100 to 150 cows in one pasture, you'll need maybe eight to 12 people on horseback. Everybody gets on the horse and in the same corner of the pasture, basically all fan out and go different directions. Usually stay, you know, within seeing distance from each other. I enjoy it. I've always enjoyed riding a horse because you and the horse have to work as a team when you're looking for cows. For generations, you've worked those those cattle, so when you're gathering them, they kind of know where to go. you worked their mothers, their grandmothers. They kind of know the drill. Cattle usually tend to watch what the other one does. The calves that don't know any better will try to run off. So we chase them. It gets pretty dusty, and at the end of the day when you go home and you take a shower, there's just dirt in the bottom of your shower. After we get them all together, we head towards the corrals where you can handle them a little bit better. They're not just out in the open. And then you'll go to sorting on them separate the mothers from the cows. They ball. They're kind of wondering where their mama is. The Roundup, is, the main purpose is for branding. By law, almost every state in the United States, you have to have your cattle branded. One of the common methods around here is, is healing them. You want to have a cowboy on his horse rope the back feet and drag them closer to the fire. One of you gets on the 
right side and one of you gets on the left side, jump down there, you hold the back leg and you put your left foot on their other leg and then you just kind of lean back and you just hold them. basically putting your name on them so that if they get across the fence, somebody else can't steal them from you. The brand inspector that comes to your ranch to check out your cattle will want to make sure every one of your cattle that you're selling is branded to prove that it's yours. We'd like to put the ear tag because it has a little bit of an insecticide with it that helps protect them from the flies. On the steers, we'll put it in the right ear, and on the heifers, we put it in the left ear. That's so we can identify them from far away babies when they're born they need a vaccine to help protect them or help boost their immune system or protect them from viruses where they could get sick easier so that's why we vaccinate. Castorating the reason we do that is because the buyer they're not going to want to buy a bull so they want them castorated because that will, will keep them from coming in the heat too much or getting too excited around any other cattle or cows or heifers that might be in front of them and also we do it because we don't want any inbreeding with our own herd. After the guys are done, if you're holding the tail, you'll just uh, hold onto the tail and the calf will just kind of pull you up so you don't have to like get up off the ground. It's a challenge, I like a challenge. Sometimes when it's hot and you have a long day, it gets to you, it wears you out. It's hard work because you are handling a live animal. Some of them could be 200 pounds, some of them could be 300 pounds and they're jumping around and kicking. and. Just kind of full of life. There's a lot going on. You can get hurt real easy. Your hands will get cut up. Breathing the dust, I'm sure, isn't healthy for you. you. Get kicked a lot. And the heat's right on top of us. So it is hard on your, you know, your muscles get sore. But if you do it right and know the technique, it's pretty easy. <laughs> People might look at it as cruelty, but cattle have to be branded because you have cattle wrestlers. They get stolen if they don't have a brand on them. Like I said before, when you go to market your cattle, the buyer along with the brand inspector wants to make sure that you haven't stolen them. You don't know, just brand the cattle or castrate them just because it's fun, it's just it's necessary. It just feels good to be out there and feel like you're accomplishing something when you can gather a pasture and get the calves branded. It feels like you're doing something productive out of this rangeland. We're just trying to keep the life alive and, and live and take care of the land and treat it proper and make it to where everything is better for, for us and for everybody. I don't think I'm the type that would ever like to work indoors and I don't think I'd be the same person. <laughs> it's a way of life for us sharing wide open spaces and keeping cows happy. We're in modern day now, you know, it's 2017, we have just about anything you can think of. But, you know, 200 years ago, people were doing the same thing that we're doing today. The good Lord has to help send that rain to you, so I guess it's a little bit of faith and prayers is what gets, gets the rain there, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> Can't give up. <laughs>